Well, hello everybody, good day. Hey, this is Joe. Hey, I'm gonna cover a little bit of an interesting little item I picked up at a thrift store recently, an antique store. And this is a mechanical calculating device called an Arithma Adiator. Stay tuned. So there have been a lot of mechanical calculating devices devised over the centuries. You could go back as far as the abacus and the counting board and all that. Uh, millennia ago. But in the late 19th century, a Frenchman invented this idea of the adiator. And uh, adiator is a little metal device that has a little scale with holes and a stylus that you use to enter the numbers. And there's an ingenious little carryover mechanism used uh, to do the carrying from addition and subtraction. And yeah, this does do addition and subtraction both. So I was at an antique store a few weeks ago and in one of the glass cabinets in one of the booths I saw this little leather pouch and this leather pouch was pretty worn looking. You can see that there is uh, some stitching that's coming loose from the uh, edge of the pouch. Uh, someone has made an attempt to staple together uh, the torn stitching with, with simple staples, etc. But uh, when you open up the pouch, you have the adiator along with an instruction booklet, which is really cool having this kind of ephemera that comes with it. So this is directions for using the adiator. And it adds and subtracts up to just under a million, etc., etc. What's nice about this particular adiator, I used to have a similar kind of device. It was not as tall and skinny. It was more wide. It was a little bigger, but it was made of cheaply stamped out aluminum. On the other hand, this adiator, first of all, there's some, there's some engraving in the back. It's made in Germany, made in Germany. And, uh, What's nice about it is the main body, the main front of the uh, adiator, the stylus holder, actually all the, all the metal parts, it looks like most of them on the external, even the bail for clearing the uh, calculations, are all made of brass, which is a really nice material to use. What you have is place values here, and there is a number entry windows, or, or the results windows in the middle. The top rows are for addition, and you pull the numbers down normally, unless you have to carry. And then the bottom rows are for subtraction, and you normally move them up. And so the idea is you put your stylus and, and pull it down to enter a number. Like, for instance, I just entered the number three. And uh, you can continue doing that. I could do another three, and I could do another three, which gives me nine, of course. Now, if I try to do another three, you'll notice several things. First of all, you notice the uh, hole there is now red colored and I can't go all the way down. I can only go this far. And what that is a sign of, if it's red colored, you actually need to go up and around. And that is the carryover, and so I get 12, okay? Three, nine plus three is 12. Uh, we could enter another three, for instance. Or actually, let's enter a seven. Well, you notice the seven and 12 should make 19, which it does. If we try to add another seven, you notice it's red. We can't actually go all the way down, so we know we have to go up and around for a total of 26. Subtraction is very similar. We have a 26 in here. Let's say we want to subtract 12. We just go one and two, like that, and that leaves us an answer of 14. Let's say we want to subtract um, eight, and so here's an eight, and you notice it's red, so instead of going up, I have to go back around and up like that, and that gives me an answer of six. 14 minus eight is six. And then to clear the calculation, you simply pull the bale like that, and it clears all the numbers out. Um, what I like about the construction of this adiator is the numbers are nicely formed. They feel like they're etched into the, the brass surface. There's a relief there. They're etched in there and then the, the holes are filled in with paint or something like that. So it's a really nice quality. The same way with right here, uh, 
these numbers feel like they're etched into the brass. And uh, I can feel the texture of them with the stylus. So it's really nice artwork. It's real heavy. So it weighs 61, 62 grams. Um, the stylus itself is made of brass also and it's really nicely formed. It has a just nice little details here, a little ridge or the little uh, groove on the end there and another one right here where the machining is for the tip of the stylus. It's just a really nicely made unit. Quite a bit better than the one that I had as a child which again was a different brand name and was aluminum and not brass and I noticed that doing some internet research there's a whole lot of different kinds of devices sold through the years that work the same principle as the Adiator as this one uh, but not all of them were built to the same degree of quality I think but I really love this uh, uh, just the the brass construction and just the quality of this and for the money I paid for it uh, I thought it was a really decent bargain, but these are pretty efficient to use uh, as far as actual calculating devices. They're not just a, a curiosity from an, a bygone era, but they really work well. The only issue I know about on this one is the little uh, spring-loaded uh, holder for the stylus. At times it does get a little loose and I have to pinch it tight. But I really like the way it looks and the way it holds the stylus in place. So uh, the Adiator, uh, this, as per this little booklet, was marketed by Harrison Home Products out of Harrison, New Jersey. If it's similar to the other brand that I had as a kid, my grandpa bought it when he was, uh, he was involved in a lot of mail ordering. These Harrison Home Products company was probably one of these mail order outfits but uh, again this is made in Germany it's a really nice quality unit uh, much impressed with it compared to the old one I had as a kid that was so flimsy I think we ended up breaking it but this thing is really substantial so the booklet does give you uh, all the examples of how to do addition and subtraction etc etc using the carry arrows etc so that's a very interesting device and I think it's actually quite functional as a practical calculating device yeah this was a really fun item to have found at an antique store and uh, it, I don't know if it once if it's the precursor to a whole collection <laughs> of uh, adiator kind of devices but they don't really take up that much room per se compared to larger items like the comptometer, the Burroughs comptometer, which I covered uh, in a previous video. But uh, I think what I'm going to do with this, I might uh, start using it. I don't want to wear it out, of course, but I might start using it. I believe I'm going to take some needle and thread and try to patch up this uh, stitching here. And uh, maybe I can uh, get some brown thread or whatever and try to, try to do it better than just having mere staples in the... Uh, uh, holding it together and oh yeah there is a logo there's an adiator logo here which is kind of interesting if I can get it on a camera but uh, anyways this is Joe Van Cleve and uh, this is uh, a little calculating device the Arithma Adiator from a previous era but it's still very much functional using the simple uh, principle of carryover addition and subtraction until next time, you guys have yourselves a great day.